<laughs> Look, it's like before donuts, after donuts. <laughs> Curse you, mirror of fatness! Spirits open, let's go! <laughs> Pick me up in an hour. Holy crap, guys, it is August 2nd and Spirit Halloween is officially open. What do you think of that little buddy? Awesome! Yesterday was the grand opening of the flagship store in Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey, which I was unable to go. But today I am here as they open the doors at the Spirit Halloween in Canton, Ohio. We've got the flags out front blowing in the wind. We've got the Spirit logo stickers on the front doors. We've got the banner on the top and a whole plethora of new window posters. And I could not be more excited to be starting this season at this location right here because this is the actual location that I used for my intro and my outro this season. Now, as you can tell, a few things are a little different. Those tiny, tiny little signs on the front of the building there. And that's because I had to Photoshop my signs in because when I first rolled by here to take the picture, there were no signs up at all. In reality, we have these two tiny signs, one up on each side. However, I did do a good job at determining where they would put the signs. But in the intro, I have the ginormous signs. They probably don't even exist that big. On the front doors here, in reality, the logo stickers are right on the two middle doors, so you can't even see them once we get behind this post. So in my intro, I had to Photoshop them one on each of the doors on the ends. And if you look closely, you can see where I even Photoshopped some leaves under the trees. Enough of that though, guys. It is time to officially go in and experience Halloween 2024 at this Spirit Halloween for the very first time this season. But first, I want to give an awesome shout out to everybody that I met this morning who was also waiting to go in this store. Look at this, guys. There are actually a whole bunch of cars already in this parking lot. All right, let's go ahead in, guys. I am so excited because I have not even watched any of the videos or looked at any of the pictures of people peeking in the windows to see everything set up. Thank you, automatic doors. Holy crap. Look at this, guys. This is so amazing right now. I can't even tell you how excited I am right now to see this. Look at this enormous Jack Reaper up here. Welcome to the Carn Evil. I love how his eye actually is lit up. That is awesome. And right up front here, guys, look at this. We've got the Black Heart and the new Ghost Face animatronic. And I gotta say, I love the element of surprise. And standing right here, I can't see anything else in the store. So that is so cool. Sometimes you step in and you see absolutely everything there is to see right inside the door. But today we get to walk through and see it all a piece at a time. But where do we begin? Do we start by paying our respects to the Black Heart because of last year, or do we go straight to the Ghost Face, which is totally awesome, for this year? All right, let's go ahead and pay our respects to the Black Heart. Black Heart, come on. Oh, here we go. Your life, your past, you will stay with me for the rest of eternity. He is pretty dang awesome, actually. I wasn't sure what I thought of him last year when I first saw him. He's kind of quiet, but I do love his voice. And from this angle right here, he looks super spooky. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's go on over here to the ghost face. Now, the first thing that I notice about the ghost face is that he's holding a machete. Now, I don't honestly remember if he's killed with a machete before. Whoa, look how big his face is. His face seems like it's bigger than a regular mask. Maybe not, but it sure looks that way. And this is also the bloody face. There's another face that you can swap out. Hmm, and I honestly don't remember what the other face looks like. If it's like the aged mask or what it is. I think it's the aged mask. But speaking of swapping out, he is holding the machete. You can also swap it out for a regular knife, like the buck knife. So let's go ahead and see how he works here. And then I'm going to talk about something else too. All right, here we go. Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is pretty violent right there. <laughs> so we're going to do that again in a second here. But what I wanted to talk about was that 
the way that he's holding this blade up here, some people have said it basically looks like he's trying to just knock you on the head instead of stab you. But I guess when you put the knife in his hand, you can actually turn it around. Maybe he has a completely separate hand for the knife, I'm not sure. But I figure it's probably just a safety feature so that he's not actually slashing you with the knife because that was a pretty violent movement right there. In fact, I wanna see it again right now. I have to say, I do love these new step pads too, especially with the ticket on it there. That is really cool. All right. Strange that you and I have never spoken on the phone. This is long overdue. See ya. <laughs> That is pretty dang cool. I wasn't sure what I was going to think of him when I saw him online, but I actually like him a lot better than I thought I would. The other thing that's really cool about this is that that is actually Roger Jackson's voice, the voice of Ghostface that they're using on here, and it's actually dialogue from the movie. That makes it totally awesome. Hopefully they have him on the floor for sale today so I can look at the box and kind of see that other mask and see the knife and, you know. And you guys tell me also, for those of you who own this already, when you step on the step pad, he seems to take a minute before he actually starts talking. Is it like that when you bring him home? Okay, so there is your initial look, guys, walking straight in the door. Let's go ahead and move on through because I am so excited to see everything else that they have in here. And this sign is just blowing me away right now. I cannot believe how big this is. And I love the carnival sign, how it's flashing with the little bulbs there. All right, let's just go ahead through here. There's so much stuff I wanna see in here, guys. All right, check this out. This is called the Wheel of Fate. Do you actually spin this here? Do you actually spin it? You do, you actually spin the Wheel of Fate to see what your fate is. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. I see there's a lot of things on here. Let's go ahead and spin it. I'm afraid to spin it hard and fast. All right, we ended up on quit clowning, try again. Well, okay, that makes sense. Here we go. Wait, what will it be? Sp spin again or else, what the heck? All right, let's do it again, here we go. Wheel of Fortune. What is it? What will it be? It's a star. I got a star, guys. I can't win. Or maybe the star is the winner. I do not know. All right, let's just look at the other things on here. Lucky you, you survived. Sorry, now you are dead inside. Congrats, you get to live. We got a skull. Your luck just ran out. Spin again, please. I had that one. We got a moon. Lose a turn better than your head. Lose a turn, oh, okay. Lose a turn, because it's better to lose a turn than to lose your head. Quit clowning around, try again. There's an eyeball. Oh wait, here's a winner. Winner, you get to keep your skin. Is that the only winner on the whole wheel? I think it actually is, how weird. All right, let's just spin it one more time and see if we can actually hit the winner. Here we go. Will we win or will we die? Will we win or will we lose our skin? Ah, we didn't win. All right, we'll come back to that section in a second. There's a lot to see over there, including Max Straw, who's peeking out. But I have to look at the howling spirit here. I don't just want to pass this guy by. He's actually one of my favorites from last year, even though I know I didn't buy him. So let's go ahead and get him going. Pay our respects to the howling spirit. I love how loud he is. You know, I'm still contemplating getting him. And I'll probably decide I want him once he's completely sold out and you can't get him anymore. All right, Howling Spirit, that was cool. See ya. Oh my gosh, guys, there's just so much awesome stuff here I can see peeking through. But let's take it one bit at a time. Holy crap, I see the big alien. Okay, we will get there because first I want to look at these guys that they have hanging on the side here. Look at this. What the heck? We got the Corpse Bride. We got Miss Argentina. We have, wait a minute, who is this? Annabelle, that's what I thought, Annabelle. We have Yoshi and Mini Yoda. And then here we go, right in the middle is the guy I really wanna see, Haunt Former. Wait, I mean, Mac Straw. Look at this guy, he's actually much cooler in person than on the video. I think all of them are. He's got the giant pitchfork here. <laughs> Oops, I stepped on the thing already, here we go. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> I do think it's funny that all he does is laugh, but I love the sounds. I love how there's a crow in the background that is classic Halloween spookiness. So the design of this guy actually reminds me of the 12 foot flying witch from Home Depot, only obviously he's not 12 feet. He's probably, I think he's eight feet maybe. And I love his crooked smile and the jagged teeth. That is so awesome. Let's go ahead and get him going one more time here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the birds. That's hilarious. All right, before we move on to this giant guy, let's look on this side here. We got a couple of plushes. We have Jason. We have Freddy over here. We got the Harvester right here. He is one of my favorites. Actually, I think I bought him one year. I love that little plush pumpkin. And then we got Sam on the top. Okay, that's enough. Let's move on to this guy. For some reason, I keep wanting to call him Sam. His name is not Sam. It's Giant Death Ray. And look just how giant he is. Oh my gosh. He is huge. He's got a step pad over here. First of all, look at those feet. Those have got to be about a size 19 and a half. And look at the hands. They are absolutely hilarious. These things are gigantic. I would not want him to grab my head and crush it. Those might actually be as big as Crouchy's hands. Okay, let's get him going here. Here we go. Giant death ray. Look how his head moves, his eyes light up. He has these other lights that are pulsating through his whole body. Do they go up his legs? I thought they were going up his legs too, but maybe not. Look at that. That is awesome. That would look so cool in the dark at night. Giant Death Ray. He's like enormous Slender Man. You could actually reskin him to make your very own Slender Man if you wanted to. All right, let's move on over here because I see this booth here, and I want to go around the front and see exactly what it is. Is it a ticket booth? Um, oh, it's a fortune teller booth. And apparently you actually get to get inside there and you get to be the fortune teller. All right, let's do that. Let's go on in here because I have to see this fortune telling ball. I wonder, is there anything else to this? Like if I touch the ball... Is he going to do something? Is he going to say something? Is he going to tell my fortune? <laughs> Apparently not. But look how cool that looks anyway. And look how cool I look as the fortune teller. You will watch every one of that Nate guy's videos over and over and over. All right, guys. There is so much more cool stuff. Holy crap. There's Bobby Strings. He is absolutely E enormous and I'm talking enormous <laughs> but first let's not get ahead of ourselves let's check this out it's called down the duck game I think you actually get to shoot the ducks look at this okay I know I know I'm looking straight past Ghostface and this guy over here the night terror okay we'll come back to those in just a second because look at this look at how the ducks are actually moving back here all the way down that is so cool okay do we get to shoot them or what press the yellow buttons on the handle to activate okay i'm activating Ooh, it activated the night terror i'm still up in the air of how much i actually like this guy i think it's such a strange movement that his head just drops down <laughs> It's kind of creepy. I mean, I think he's only a hundred bucks. So for a hundred bucks, he is a pretty awesome animatronic. So let's see. Apparently by pushing the button, it just activates him. I don't know if we can... I don't think we can actually shoot the ducks, but you... You can hear shooting sounds and the gun lights up. That is pretty cool, man. I know I hear you, sir. You're doing a very good job at terrorizing my night. <laughs> Man, people are going to be going ballistic trying to get all these ISC setups this year. Okay, anyway, let's move on to this guy right here because this is the static ghost face animatronic. He does not move as far as I know. Look at that. So, okay, so he lights up and he screams. I guess that's it. Oh, look, his knife lights up too. Are you going to work? There we go. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. 
if I didn't just build my own ghost face downstairs in my basement, I'd probably think about getting this guy. Here's this little thing over here. He's only $129.99. That is pretty cool. Use the 20% off coupon to get 25 bucks off. All right, let's come on over here and take a look at this guy. The scary sitting scarecrow. Hello, sir. Are you set up to activate? Maybe not. And I don't see a step pad for him, but we all know what he does. Man, look at the back of this too. This whole place is decked out. This stuff is so awesome. They went all out this year. Look at the flag on top here, and I love how the tent has torn holes in it. And look at these signs right here. We got a terrifying act, Young Crouchy. The terrifying act of Young Crouchy is his hairdo. <laughs> the one and only Monty. Look, it says alive down here. It says creepy on Young Young Crouchies, and then the inf what? The incredible flame spitter. Amazing. What? Is that like an animatronic they're coming out with, but they haven't announced it yet? Or am I just living under a rock and I don't know about it? That would have to be a big rock because I am a big boy. I know, right? <laughs> but you guys tell me if you know already, because I want to know something about this flame spitter. But what I'm really, really excited about, guys, is what's behind me. The spirit fun house of terror. I love when they have a setup you can actually walk through. And oh my gosh, look at Bobby Strings. He is so absolutely enormous. We're gonna save him for last. Let's go ahead and go straight through the middle here for a minute. We've had the chains of death. We've had the electricity of death. We've had the flames of death. Now we have the drapes of death. All right, let's go on through and see what awaits us in the fun house of terror through the drapes of death. Oh, look at this, it's like a fun house mirror here. Is it gonna like do something wavy? Maybe not, but look at the clown face on there. That looks pretty cool. Whoa, here's the wavy one. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be in here. Look at this, okay. So it's shaped, whoa, no it's not. It looks like it's shaped like that, but it's actually a flat mirror. That's kind of scaring me because it's making me look 10 times bigger than I actually am. Yeah, that's the ticket, even though I had two large donuts this morning. Look, it's like before donuts, after donuts. <laughs> before candy, after candy. <laughs> Curse you, mirror of fatness. Yikes, we gotta do something about you, buddy. Wait, it looks like there's another one over here. There's three of them. Do we have to relive this two more times? All right, let's take a walk through. Boom, whoa. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, baby. We get a little bit skinnier on this one. What the heck? Look at that. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm never gonna make it through this storm having too much fun. I do not like the look of those hips. I look like an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> this is funny, I don't even know if I, okay, now I know. I was trying to find out if I had my front or back camera on, but due to the mirrors, I couldn't tell. We're gonna, whoa! We're gonna check out this guy in just a second here. I'm pretty sure that was just Crouchy that jumped out and tried to kill us. But we have one more crazy mirror here to walk in. What's gonna happen here? Hmm, it makes me shorter and even fatter. <laughs> Is there a mirror that shows a treadmill? That would really be horror. And it doesn't help that I wore this orange shirt. I look like a giant peach. Oh boy. Okay, so we got another mirror over here, another cracked one. I mean, I think this mirror makes you look weird too, but you can't really tell through the clown face. But let's watch this over here for a second. Okay, we got a hand. Oh, poor George. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, it's okay, it was poor George. I thought it was Crouchy that jumps out and tries to kill us. That was pretty dang awesome right there. And he, okay, we got Jack the Reaper too. Oh my gosh, it is pretty awesome in here, but it is also pretty hot. So let's go back through the death right here. Whoa, right on the other side we have Nibbles. Holy crap, this is the one everybody's been waiting to see. No, I can't really say that because everybody's been waiting to see all of them. Oh my gosh, all right. So Nibbles apparently, I like that sucker with the bite out of it, but Nibbles apparently like watches you and you can see how there's a little sensor on the tip of his nose there. I like how they have the spilled popcorn down here too. All right, wait a minute, what the heck? We got a step here but it looks like it leads over to Wanda. Okay, we'll get to Wanda in a minute. Feel like you're being watched. I have motion track. Okay, that is not a step pad there. 
So this must actually go to him. Okay, here we go. I hit the thing over here. Hello, sir. Hmm. Are you watching me? Doesn't look like he's watching me. Let's try that again. Feel like you're being watched. I have motion tracking sensor technology. Okay. I hear you. So why don't you come a little closer and let's play a game? <laughs> if you hmm. win, you'll get a prize. If you lose, well, don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, so there goes his head turning, but he never really follows me. I rem do I just not get it? What is he supposed to do? Is his head supposed to, like, turn as I walk around? Okay, so I'm just going to assume that he's not really working correctly right now. Maybe he's just not set up right. We'll see him in another store. Anyway, this is only the first store. So look at this chick. Wanda Webworth. What the heck is up with that face right there? Push the coin into the slot to start the show. Where's the show? Here's my coin. Come on now. What the heck? I want to see Wanda Webworth working. Okay, well that is a bummer that we can't get Wanda going. I do like the clown up here, how he's shaking his head. I know, sir. I'm disappointed too. Okay, let's go ahead and move on from Wanda. Maybe she'll be working our second time around here. We got Cotton Candy Dan, who, as you guys know, I already bought and I love because he has one eye. But let's go ahead and get him going here. All right, Dan. I love the cotton candy down here. So I actually have him right now at the scare house. He is taken apart because my son put him together first. And there's a video on his channel if you want to see it, that other Nate guy on YouTube. But he put him together first. He took him apart after we built our own spirit in my yard. And so I'm going to have to set him up again myself because I want him set up at the scare house. But I think it is so hilarious how big this bucket is and how big his feet are. Look at those enormous things. What are those? I think Cotton Candy Dan was the one that everybody was so, so excited about getting this year. So let me know. If you guys bought him, do you love him as much as you thought you would? I definitely do. I love everything about him. I love how he has one eye and Elmo hair. All right, we're making our way around to Bobby Strings, but we're going to make him last in this section because I also want to come over here and check out Barnaby. So I got to say, Barnaby is actually smaller than I expected him to be. I thought he was just a reskin of Monty, but he's much smaller than Monty. Let's get him going here. <laughs> he's super loud. I think he is totally awesome. Look, I love how the paws, they didn't try to make the paws look like really evil or anything. They just look like teddy bear paws. That is hilarious. And I love how he just rocks back and forth on his ball. He is totally awesome. Smaller than I thought he would be, but he is awesome. Ooh, okay, we have Emily here. Let's go ahead and listen to her. Now, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure that if you have Victor and Emily set up beside each other, they actually interact. I'm not positive about that. I know they have their own sayings, but I think they might even interact. I actually almost ordered them the other day, and then I held off until I could see them in person. And I'll tell you what, they look, well, she looks a lot better than I expected her to look even. What I really love about it is that this is based on a cartoon. So she looks so much more like the actual character than when you're trying to do like a Leatherface or Michael Myers or something and it never really looks like the character, but she looks exactly like Emily. And sorry, the music is just so loud we can't even hear what she's saying right now. And let's just look at this real quick here before we move on down to Bobby Strings because this just looks so absolutely awesome. Even behind Barnaby and behind Bobby Strings, we have the crazy mirrors. Oh my gosh, look, we have Spider. 
spotlights going too, one on each side. And the only way I saw them is because it turned around and blasted me in the eyeball socket. It was probably trying to protect me from my image in that mirror. All right, guys, here he is, Bobby Strings. I think there's a lot of people this season who don't really care much for him. But man, I love this guy, especially just seeing how he looks. He is absolutely enormous. His shoes are enormous. They look like they've been whittled out of a piece of wood. Same with his hands. Look at that. I love all the detail in there and his face especially. Now the thing about him that people really are not liking is his voice. I've only heard it one time in the video that's online. So we're going to hear it now for the first time in person. Let's get him going here. All right, we got to try it again. The music was so loud. Here we go. <laughs> so he has a little bit of music going in the background, like the circus music. He's laughing right now, and apparently that's all he's doing. <laughs> but I know he talks as well, so let's just do this again. All right, here we go. So his sayings are really, really long. So seeing him in person, I definitely do not agree with the people who are saying he's this year's Johnny Punk. I completely understand what they're talking about with the voice and he kind of is like a little bully. So yes, I get that that part is reminiscent of Johnny Punk, but I mean, this guy's enormous. The build is absolutely awesome. And as far as the voice, like what other kind of a voice would you expect him to have? He's a little boy puppet. So I don't know what else you would expect him to sound like. I think they got the voice as good as they could get it for what he is. I will say this though, it wouldn't hurt to run a brush through that hair. <laughs> oh my gosh, these lights keep zapping my corneas. All right, so there's a look at the setup from this side. I can't really get a better view from going down here because it's so close to those aisles there. But I have to say, as unexcited as I was in the beginning to hear that they were doing a full circus display, I'm absolutely blown away by this. I think it looks absolutely awesome in every way, shape, and form. Speaking of form, hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait a minute. This is a display I haven't seen in the stores before. They have all these lights, and they actually have a display up here to show you what they look like. That is really cool. Ghosty Girl, the Hanging Flame Light, Blue or Green Fire and Ice, Bats, Whirl Emotion, Haunting Reaper, and Red or Purple. When I was planning my build for the spirit I put in my front yard, I was actually considering getting some of these because I know how it looks inside that giant inflatable, and I thought it would be cool to have something like this on the walls. Anyway, let's go ahead and come around here, see if there's anything else set up that we're missing and there might be some more on the other side, but I do see a whole bunch of animatronics here. So let's take a look and see what they have for sale on the floor right here, right now. And first and foremost, guys, I just have to say, look at the size of the Bobby Strings box. That is an enormous box right there. Man, that thing's huge. All right, so we got a Bobby Strings there. Of course, we have the jumping spiders, a swinging witch. We got a scary sitting scarecrow. Ooh, we got one, two, three, four, five of those. We got two Wanda Webworths there. Cotton Candy Dan, Nibbles the Clown, Scream, here's the ghost face in stock right here. Look at this, guys. They actually have an Exorcist Reagan in stock. We got a creepy crimson girl on a swing. We got the Night Terror over here, the Howling Spirit. And then another Empty Soul Girl out here. Is there anybody else in there hiding? It doesn't look like it. All right, let's come on back up this way before we get too deep into anything else in the store here. Just see if there's any other animatronics or anything that we are missing. Sorry to be swinging you around. And I am pretty sure that we saw everything that there is to see as far as the animatronics in the store. I see they do have a big stack up here, but I think that belongs to everything that they actually have set up throughout the store. Hmm, why yes, I do want to get snuggy and watch a Halloween movie tonight. Oh my gosh, guys, there is just so much awesome stuff to be seen in here. I see so many new things, but I'll tell you what, 
I've already been in here filming for about an hour. This is going to be a super long video, just taking the first initial look at the carnival. And even though I am super excited, I think we will just make this the end of this video so that we can come back around and see the rest of the awesome stuff like this Michael Myers here. Look how cool this guy looks. Oh my gosh, he's totally awesome. What is he, 50 bucks? Michael, look at that hairdo. He's got an elongated head. <laughs> oh man, I'm very tempted to buy Chucky today because I'm also decorating my basement for movie nights, for Halloween movie nights, and I don't have a Chucky. All right, how much is he? $89.99. Man, should I get him or do I hold out for the animatronic Chucky from Home Depot? Okay, I'm gonna hold off for now. I need to go so I can film Fan Mail Friday because a whole bunch of people sent me stuff and I know they are waiting. Holy crap, that stuff looks so awesome. I can't wait to show you guys. All right, wait a minute. Let's check this guy again and see if he's working correctly before we go because he seems to be moving a little bit more than he was before. Okay. You caught my eye. Don't worry, I'm just admiring your costume. Hey, you over there! Yeah, you! I'm giving out some candy! The heck, man! I thought this would be a great way to make some friends! So come a little closer and try to take some! What do you say? <laughs> I'm homeless! Mostly! <laughs> Yeah, it's so weird because I don't know if it's just supposed to be his eyes that are moving, following you. But as I move around, he definitely does not follow me. So hopefully in the next store he will. And hopefully Wanda will be attacking us in the next store as well, too. Oh, hello, rat. Ah!